Welcome everyone back to Cripple Creek and our third and final stop. If you look at this street directly below us, that is Myers Avenue. Myers Avenue ran until they set a track next to us and then there was a wooden trestle that led into Poverty Gulch beside us that had a lot of small homes and cabins built in it. But the Myers Avenue side was known as the red light district of Cripple Creek with over 70 saloons and 35 parlor houses. One of those parlor houses is that white building down there, the old homestead parlor house. Today it is just a museum, but back then it was ran by a woman named Pearl DeVere. Pearl was so particular about her patrons that she uh, ran inspections on everyone's bank accounts before she ever allowed them to enter. She died at the age of 30 trying to self-medicate for a cold, and it was at that point in time that her parents found out she was not the seamstress she said she was, and they disowned her and refused to pay for her funeral. So the good old Elks Club stepped in and hired a 12-man marching band to march her to Mount Pisgah Cemetery. And along the way they played, yeah. there'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. She had over 5,000 people show up to pay their respects. And they still have an event once mm -hmm. a year here in town to celebrate her because she did a lot to help out the less fortunate around the community. In 1896, there were two fires that destroyed yeah. the town. The first half of town burned down when a barmaid and her boyfriend got in an argument and knocked over a kerosene lamp. It was only three days later that they had a grease fire in the Portland Hotel uh -huh. that destroyed what was left of town. Back then, everything was constructed out of wood, even the sidewalks. Yeah. So the city came up with a new ordinance. Anything that was built in the business district of Cripple Creek, which is Bennett Avenue in one block either direction, had to be constructed out of brick. That's why you see so many brick buildings downtown today. They were all stamped 1896 or after. One wooden structure that did survive both those fires is this red and white building out from us over here, and it's the Colorado Trading and Transfer Company yeah. building. In 1890, there was a rancher named Bob Womack that came up here searching for gold. He wasn't the first person to find it, but he was the first person to start announcing and telling everyone who would listen that he found it. So he was kind of responsible for kickstarting the but gold rush here. He found his gold about a mile and a half up Poverty uh, Gulch gold beside gold. us. He named his claim the El Paso See Load. What? Then he decided to go yeah. celebrate. He woke up a few days later and found out he had sold that claim for $500 and a couple of cases of whiskey. The new owners changed its name model. to the Gold King Mine so, and they made over $3 million from it, but Bob Womack never struck it rich. To the left of Myers Avenue down there, you can't see it from up here very well, but there's a creek that runs beside there. Kind of looks like a big ditch when you're down that way. But that creek runs all the way up through Poverty Gulch and it's jammed further up the hill. Back in the day, that creek was kind of a difficult creek to get across, and when it people were first started coming up here was a lot of ranchers with their cattle. One day in particular, yeah. a rancher named Levi Welty was moving his yep. cattle across that creek and one of his cows fell down, broke his leg. His son decided to get off his horse to help the cow and ended up falling and breaking his leg. And Levi Welty yelled out, isn't this some gosh darn Cripple Creek? And that is actually how Cripple Creek got its name because it stuck. All right, folks, we're gonna head back into the station now, but as we pull forward, if you watch off the left side of the engine way up ahead towards mm -hmm. the trees, you'll see a small log cabin with the roof caved in. That was the very first cabin ever built in Poverty Gulch, and it was Bob Womack's cabin.
Google uh -huh. and type in Johnny Ringo Graveside and take you right to it. Oh, nice.